Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you the quickest way to change the color of objects. Open a photo you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. The first step is to make a selection around the object. In this case, it'll be the sofa. There are many ways to do this, but for this example, let's use the Object Selection tool. Drag the tool over the object you want to change the color of. In this example, I don't want to change the color of the pillow or the legs of the sofa, so I'll place my cursor over those areas and press and hold Alt or Option as I click on it. Another way to remove selections is to open the Quick Selection tool and press and hold Alt or Option as you drag over those areas. Once you're happy with the selection, click the folder icon to make a folder and click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the folder. We'll place into the folder all the color and tonal adjustments that we'll make to the object. The black area of the layer mask will mask out the adjustments, while the white area will show them. In layer masks, white reveals and black conceals. Click the adjustment layer icon and click solid color. Pick any color you like. I'll show you how to change it later in this video. Change its blend mode to color. Right now, the sofa's color is too bright and the midtones are washed out. We'll correct them by clicking the adjustment layer icon again and clicking Levels. Basically, Levels adjusts the tonal range and color balance of an image by adjusting the intensity levels of an image's shadows, midtones, and highlights. Drag the solid color above Levels. Make the Levels adjustment layer active. The outer two input sliders map the black point and the white point to the settings of the output sliders. So, for example, dragging the white output slider to this point will force the lightest tone of the sofa to be as bright as this gray tone. Conversely, dragging the black output slider to this point will force the darkest tone of the sofa to be as bright as this gray tone. Since every color has its own characteristics of brightness and intensity, feel free to adjust the output and input settings until you like the results. Let's make our object a different color. I'll double click the solid color layer to open the color picker and I'll pick a different color. I'll make the levels adjustment layer active and adjust the output and input levels until I like the color's intensity, brightness, and contrast. This time, I'll make the sofa a light gray. In the color picker, I'll pick a neutral gray color. I'll make the levels adjustment layer active and slide the input and output levels until I like the way it looks. That's it. Quick and simple. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.